Kia ora tato, ko Josh Aho. I'm one of the actors from the Duffy Show 2020, and today we're doing not quite a reading of a book, but a review. So I had a read of this book, Diary of a Minecraft Creeper, book three. And now I'm going to have a little uh, discussion about it and talk about my favorite bits and stuff that I really liked about it. Also, big thank you to Scholastic for sending us these books, because without them, I wouldn't have it. And also, Scholastic sends books to you guys all over the country every single year. So a massive, massive thank you to them. Now, let's have a talk about Diary of a Minecraft Creeper. So, I think books like these are really cool because they talk about a video game, in this case Minecraft, but in a really different and fun way. So they give you another way to look at a video game that you might have only seen through the video game. So books give you a different way of looking at the stuff that the video game shows you. And so it lets you see it from another viewpoint, which is really, really cool. Also, this one in particular, it talks about characters that you might not even think about. Like, do creepers really have diaries? Do, do creepers really think about all the stuff that they write down? But Because in the game, they mostly just blow up. So it's really interesting to hear what a creeper has to say about life and about his family and about having a girlfriend and about just just being in the world. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's really fun because the book uses pictures from the game. Like you've got that one there. And that one there of a heart. So they're all things from the game that you can go, oh, I recognize that. That's from the game. So it makes you really um, uh, enjoy the stuff that they use from the game in the book. Also, there are lots of books in this series. I can't remember how many exactly, but it's definitely about six or more. So there's a really long story that you can really read through the whole journey and keep up with this character and really go on a, a fun little ride with how he finds all his adventures. So it's cool because it follows one character over the whole time. Yeah, it's also awesome because it talks about stuff that young people need to think about. So just just like this creeper is young and dealing with stuff as he grows up, it also talks about things that the reader, in this case maybe a young kid or a teenager, would want to think about and stuff that they can relate to. Like in this book, the creeper talks about not feeling very comfortable with his family sometimes and being very anxious about maybe having a crush on a girl. So it's stuff that we can relate to and go, yeah, I know what he means. So it's really cool to have stuff like that in a book like that. Yeah, it's also written in a very exciting way. So it's day to day. And so each day you're wondering what's going to happen in his life next? Who's he going to meet? What's going to happen to the character he mentioned three days ago? Where are his parents? What's going to happen next? So it really has a fun way of keeping up the excitement from the way it's written. Because as you can see as well, they, they use different fonts to make different words look cool. Uh, so often sound effects will be like and burnt. So they, they let words have their emphasis by being written in a fun way. Also, there's some funny Minecraft jokes in here as well. Let me find my favorite one. Um, yeah, so here he talks about Harry doesn't even have a nose. So how does he smell? Because it's true. Minecraft characters don't have noses. So how do they smell? The book pokes fun at that and it makes you think, oh yeah, that is pretty funny. <laughs> All right, and now I'm going to read for you an extract from my favorite chapter. So this is where the creeper finds a witch. Hey, I think I found the witch's hut, Harry shouted. Without a word, Stu started running through the trees with Harry right behind him. Bert and I tried to keep up, but creepers don't run very well. We had to hop as fast as we could, and even that was way slower than their speedy run. By the time that Bert and I hopped our way out of the trees, Stu and Harry were already at the door. Oh man, I had no time to catch my breath. 
Harry turned around. Hey, calm down, guys. Just breathe. Just breathe. That's the sound that creepers make. All of a sudden, I looked over to Bert and saw him glowing too. Breathe. Breathe. Darling, shouting at the poor dears won't help calm them down, came a very squeaky voice. Bert and I looked up to see what looked like a humongous nose with a face smile on it smiling at us. Oh, and it had a huge unibrow. It's the witch, Harry blurted. Whoa, I'd never seen a witch before. As she came closer to us, I saw that her hair was green and it was moving. And there were beady eyes staring at me. <laughs> she cackled. Ah! I screamed. Then everything went black. Ooh, what's going to happen there, guys? You'll have to read the rest of the story to find out. So yeah, it's really exciting. And I think that stories written like this in the style of a diary of a wimpy kid are really cool. And they, they offer new insights onto stuff you might not otherwise think about. So yeah, that's Diary of a Minecraft Creeper. I really enjoyed it, and I think you guys will too. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys, talk it there. Stay safe during lockdown.